Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So if you have guys watched my first video of the authentication, you already know what we are going to learn in the authentication series. Okay, so this episode we are going to dedicate on just the basics of the authentication that means just creating our authentication system so if you know how to create authentication don't skip this video because i am going to show you some extra things also and if you already know all the extra things then watch the second episode which is coming very soon okay so let's start this video by just creating our auth system so you can see that i have just the fresh installation of level 5.4 and you cannot see anything other than this okay so let's create our authentication system okay for that we will go to my command prompt and i am on the folder where i have installed the level so just type php artisan make auth and just hit enter and let's see what is created by this command so for that i will just refresh this page and now you can see here there is two link one called login and one called register let's see what we have got other than just two links okay so i will open my sublime text okay here i am on the auth folder which is i have created for you and you can see Firstly, when you go to the app folder inside HTTP, there is a controller folder and inside controller, you can see the home controller. Okay. And you can see the auth folder. Actually, this auth folder is already there, but this folder is used now when you have created the auth system. Okay. So we have got the controller called home controller and in home controller you can see that it has a middleware called auth and don't worry we will talk about each and everything okay this has the index function which returns home view so where is that home view home view obviously inside the resources folder views folder and you can see this home.blade.php and this is the home page you are logged in okay so we are not logged in now so let's see how we will logged in when you click on the login button you will land on this page okay so obviously we does not have any account so we have to create that account by registering okay but before registering i want to tell you that we does not have any database connection with our project so let's just create a database for that i will open my server now i am on the on my server and i will create new database by typing just auth name and create database we have successfully created that database so let's just connect this database to our project for that we have to go to the dot env file and here the database instead of this home state we will type auth and username will be always root and password is none okay so we have successfully connected our database to our level but we does not have any table inside that for that when you have created this command by running this command you also got something here it is inside the database folder the migrations there are two migrations what are these migrations migrations are just the php way of telling laravel that this type of table has to be created when the migration is run okay so you can see this is password reset table okay and this is the users table let's see how we will generate these table okay obviously we have to run a command but before running that command actually we are on the 5.4 so we just have to configure one thing you have to go to app folder inside app folder just go to providers folder and the app service provider and inside this just type a schema and 
डिफॉल्ट स्ट्रिंग लेंथ ओके एंड गिव इट वन नाइन वन एंड ऑब्वियसली वी आर यूजिंग स्कीमा सो वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट दैट स्कीमा ओके सो जस्ट से हेयर फसाइट्स एंड स्कीमा ओके लेट सी इफ वी हैव नॉट रिटर्न दिस वॉट विल बी द रिजल्ट ओके सो लेट्स गो टू आर कमांड प्रॉम्ट जस्ट ट्राई टू रन द माइग्रेशन फॉर दैट वी हैव टू रन द कमांड पी एच पी आर्टिसन माई ग्रेट लेट्स रन दिस कमांड एंड यू कैन सी देर इज एन एरर स्पेसिफाइज की वॉज टू लॉन्ग एंड टू मिनिमाइज दिस एरर टू रिड्यूस दिस एरर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस कमांड इन साइड द बूट फंक्शन ऑफ एप सर्विस प्रोवाइडर सो वी हैव अन कमेंटेड दिस एंड ऑब्वियसली वेन वी रन अगेन देर विल बी नो एरर बट यू कैन सी माइग्रेशन टेबल इज क्रिएटेड सो वेन वी ट्राई टू क्रिएट अगेन माइग्रेशन इट विल से द बेस्ट टेबल ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू जस्ट रिमूव ऑल दिस टेबल फ्रॉम हेयर ओके दैट्स गुड नाउ ट्राई टू रन द माइग्रेट कमांड and now you can see there will be no error and your tables will be created easily okay now refresh the database and you can see the tables are here now we have the table so obviously we can register ourselves into the level okay so now i will type sarthak mm, bitfumes at gmail.com password 1 2 3 hit register and now it will give me the error why this error home stayed at localhost but we have but we have actually configured the database but here is the problem problem is that we have not restarted our server because the server is started before this changes server does not know about this configuration so let's just restart the server and now when i go back type again okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 hit register and you can see i am logged in okay and you can see this is the home page and this is the same home page i have just show you this is the home page you are logged in i am logged in very nice this is sarthak written here when you click here it will say log out and when you go to log in you just type your email and your password hit login and here you are so the next thing i want to show you is that where is these login view and these register view so let's see where are these so when you go to resources folder in your view folder and now you will see your auth folder and inside this auth folder there is a login.plate.php this is the login page as we have discussed here this is the login page and this is the register page that is the register page okay so obviously we have password reset something so when you go to login and if you forgot your password you will you will click on the forgot password and you have to give your email address so that it will give you give you a link and with that link you can reset your password and we will obviously do all these things and we will see how this process will done okay by the level so don't worry we will cover each and everything and you will be master in the authentication after watching all the episode of my this authentication series okay so one thing i want to show you that you can see there is a login and there is a register route and obviously when we are registered when we logged in um, let's see we are logging we are logged in we have the home route where this route came from let's see obviously we know that each and every route came from the web.php but wait there is no route other than this home route where are these login route where are these log out lo register every route for that you can see there is a two word 
system is given here and this is so so small that we cannot imagine that the all the routes are inside this so where are these actually routes are so for that you have to go to your route and now you have to find the route which is i am using sublime text so it will give me the address where this route function is created but you can obviously find it inside the vendor laravel framework as source illuminate support facade oof very long okay so you can see here from vendor the next is laravel so where is laravel laravel framework sr say illuminate after illuminate it is support support where is support support oh now facade and this is the auth okay so i will not do all these things so i will just use the magic of sublime text and i will just click here don't go on this page just go on the auth.php and now when you go to this auth function this auth function is inside the illuminate routing router.php and now you can see all the routes are here and now when as i told you the login route the login post route log out register password reset email everything is here so you can see all these things are hidden inside the functions of the level so you cannot easily find that but i'm here to help you so you can see now you can easily find the routes you can change the routes easily and we will change the route obviously okay so don't worry i will do everything for you so next thing is obviously we have seen the views all the generated by the auth command we have seen the controller everything and now it's time for the model and you can see the model is here and obviously we will talk about these things also okay so this is the model and as i told you we have obviously inside our home controller we have the middleware auth so where is that middleware auth is situated obviously not inside this middleware so where is this auth middleware you when you go to the kernel.php and go down and you can see now this is the auth registered auth for getting everything on the auth you can go to this authenticate many of the much of the lots of of the of the of the, of the folder <laughs> and this is the authenticate and you can see everything is here and as i told you we will talk about this also okay so we have seen in this episode how to create the auth system authentication system and if you don't want to manipulate anything you can use this easy system email and password and this register system with your project but obviously when we are creating any project we want to create something we does not want to just get the code and try to complete our project we want to create something we want to edit something so we will edit something and much more thing not something okay so we will meet in the next episode and before going i have a request for you all please suggest me to add something inside this authentication series so that we will get the most from this series and obviously if you have any problem in this episode please please comment me and if you have any problem in any of anywhere just feel free to comment me i will always ready to respond to your question and follow me on facebook twitter instagram you can also message me there and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of the best thing called laravel and we will meet in the next episode creating something creating something awesome in the authentication series and till then keep coding be happy and goodbye